What's happening guys? This is William Craddock, the Will to Win Gaming. And by far the most requested video we've had is how do you beat red decks using this guy? So that's what my video today is all about. Let's get into it. All right, we're gonna start it off because I know y'all wanna beat this guy. How to beat Whitebeard. There's not too many key differences between beating Stagebeard and Strawbeard with Dofi, the big one being if they're playing Strawbeard, you want to make 8k attacks into their leader instead of just 6k attacks in a leader. And that's really the only fundamental difference. But getting into the more specific strategy, besides you're always looking for a Perona and a Don Quixote, Don Flamingo to stack top your deck, you're going to want to start the game by building as much of a board as possible. So you're gonna run your normal game plan of leader ability, try to put a 5K or Lord willing, a 6K into play. But the difference here is against a lot of matchups, your board is kind of throwaway, right? Your 5Ks can die, your 6Ks, you might pitch a card to protect them, but for the most part, they're throwaway. However, against Whitebeard, you need every single card you have. You need all your blockers, you need all your attackers, so generally against Whitebeard, you're going to run a lower hand size than you would against any other deck in the format. For instance, if you say put in a Gecko Moria 6K and they try to make an 8K attack onto it because that card's bad for them, you are going to want to use two cards to protect it. And in one case at a tournament, I even use three cards protected just because I know how important this card is to my game plan. That's the one big thing you want to do against Whitebeard. The only other one might be against Strawbeard in particular. You want to get them down to one life as quick as possible. You don't necessarily have to take the last life, but you want to get them to one life before they start chaining their Edward Newgates. A lot of the top Dofi players I talk with at tournaments are saying, well, it's impossible to be back to back Edward Newgate. I'm here to tell you that's absolutely not true. After they drop their second one, you just have to start focusing on going wide on their life again. Just, you know, making 8K attacks instead of 6K, which kind of sucks because it costs a lot of resources. But Dofi is so blocker heavy and so counter heavy, you can survive those 10K attacks for two or even three turns. And I have a lot of tournament games under my belt that proves that. So overall strategy, protect your board, Go aggressively after the life total if they're a straw beard. Kind of just make a huge board protected against stage beard. Next, we're going to talk about Zoro. This one is, to me, this is Dofi's easiest matchup. Not close. Uh, if you're struggling with it, however, you're going to want to always go after their board. No matter how big, how small, how insignificant their character may seem, Dofi does not need to go after life. He does not need to play that game. He's great at generating cards. He's great at drawing cards. He's great at protecting his life total. So you can play a 10, 12, 14 turn game using Dofi. So the big takeaway against Zoro is, every time you play this leader, attack their characters. Now this might change if you know, you've know you whittled down their board to nothing and then they have one Nami and they have zero life, then sure, go after their face, yeah in the game. But for the most part, you go after their characters and the secondary reason you don't want to go after their life is because you can just starve them out of cards. Zoro doesn't have, it, it got Curly to Dan, which generates some card advantage. With Zoro in general, when you're attacking their board, if they're protecting it, they're not gonna have a lot of cards in hand and if they're not attacking their life, they're gonna have even less. So game plan, attack their board, get blockers out, protect your life, and they're just never gonna kill you. This is free for Dofi guys. Just practice enough and you'll get it. Next we have the Luffy matchup. Luffy is more similar to Newgate actually than I would say Zoro. He just makes a, he makes better attacks on you and he has some bigger guys earlier. Luffy again though, I think is a pretty free matchup given he's a 5K leader instead of a six. So you're not having to invest extra resources into making attacks on their life. You do want to clear their board when possible. So they play like a 
6K vanilla, or I know Luffy's are playing even King Dews. You will make large attacks on them. I have attacked a King Dew for 11. I have attacked a Edward Newgate for 14. Like clearing their board before going out their life is paramount to Dofi's overall game plan. And I think he does this so well against red because they're just not generating a lot of extra cards. So that's gonna be uh, Luffy in a nutshell. Same as Zoro almost, go after their board. It just, don't be afraid to commit a large amount of Dawn, like 10 Dawn to clear a threat. Because I guarantee you, if they only have their leader, as long as you play around, you know, random Diablo, Jambe, Flambe, can't block card, they're not gonna kill you guys. We got 16 blockers, 17 blockers, plus Gekko Mori's getting back. Just take out their board and it'll be easy. Now let's talk about Trafalgar Law. This matchup, although he has red in his life, is incredibly difficult. I played maybe two or three um, experienced law pilots and tournaments. I won two of them, but I think there was actually some luck involved in that. The only thing I can say about the matchup, following suit, go after their board, draw Mihawks. There's really not much to it after that. You can aggressively go after life early, but if they build up that, you know, five character count early, they're just gonna kill you. Like, you can try to aggro them down, but I found that strategy just doesn't work. You have to go after their board, and then use your Mihawks to go after their life. Because now they're having to use, you know, their 6K laws, they can't block effectively. There's not a ton of strategy involved against law, the matchup's difficult for Dofi. My, like I said, biggest recommendation, clear their board, make sure they can't get to five characters if possible. It's almost impossible at this point. And then draw your Mihawks. So you don't even have to open a hand with Perona per se. Maybe just have a Mihawk in your open hand is good enough. So that's gonna be my overall strategy against Red Green Law. All right guys, thanks. This is my quick video on how to beat Red in tournaments using Don Quixote Do Flamingo. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out our Patreon so I can continue to have these really cool alternate art leaders. See ya.